Hello everyone and the peace of Christ to all of you <clears throat> now you will notice this this picture there's a cat in this back this cat looked like it's so surprised I mean it's it's obviously astonished and I think this cat astonished because she was listening to the Quran and to Muhammad stories uh, today we have another story which is very funny and very stupid at the same time and showing us how Islam is nothing but a cult all of us we knew that Muslims believe in Adam and Eve mostly very close to the story we believe in in uh, the Bible but there is details actually is mixed with that story and those details is from the fictions or uh, legends of people who live before Muhammad and Muhammad always adopt all fictions and superstitions and dumb stories and he add them to his Quran and the purpose was of those things uh, is to get more people to believe in him because as long as they believe in them already so it's a good idea to take what they believe and say to them I believe in it so I will not struggle to convince them <laughs> with something new so let us see what Muhammad said today I mentioned to you before that Muhammad told his followers that if you don't have a prayer before you have your sex with your wife shaitan will be the father of your sons and he will be the one doing sex to your wife this is why Muhammad he said you have to say this prayer as you see in the front of your eyes otherwise shaitan is going to share your children with you which means he will be the real father so the prophet said if anyone of you intend to have sexual intercourse with his wives he should say bismillah allahumma ahmina wa sajnibna shaitan blah 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 you have to say it in Arabic remember if you say it in English it doesn't work all right you have to say it in Arabic if you say it in English the the power of the magic will not work <laughs> so that will keep the shaitan away from your wife and your son will not be the child of shaitan and that resemble another verse in the Quran where it says Allah he said which means Allah saying that a shaitan is going to share with you with your kids how is that as you notice here Muhammad explained how this happened he speaks specifically about when you do sexual intercourse you see this is the shaitan he can do the harm when you are having sexual intercourse this is not something will be done to the child later this is why the sexual intercourse is mentioned as you see and this is why the prayer you have to say before you start sexual intercourse so now you are in the bedroom your wife is horny and you are get taken off your clothes and now she is getting ready and you start making the prayer and by the time you finish she is dead asleep snoring now obviously this is a stupid statement from a person who believe in superstition stories and he is copying what people around him say the pagan Arab and sometime from the fiction of the the Jews or the Talmud so as you see those stories are all over the Islamic books and Muslims cannot deny it uh, but we do not what you don't know yet that according to Muhammad Adam and Eve they were satanic and Eve she used to sleep with the devil Actually, her first son was the son of the devil, and his name is Al Harith. Which is funny because the Muslims they uh, they believe in uh, Cain and Cain and Abel, and yet they have such a story speaking about Eve having a son from the devil. Some Muslims they say no, this is not the son of a devil. He was just uh, you know uh, the devil did not kill him because she uh, she vowed to worship the devil. Hmm. And where's Adam was at that time? I see. Let us see what happened. Uh, <clears throat> narrated Samara, uh, Samora bin uh, Jundab, that the Prophet he said, uh, uh, Samora bin Jundab, that the Prophet he said, when Hawa became a Bretnet, Iblis come to her, and her children would not live after birth notice with me so this is a normal normal uh, 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 like uh, women getting bread net you know obviously from Adam there's no other man there Iblis which means Shaitan Satan he come to her 
and children would not live. So what Shaitan is doing is causing their death. All right, obviously. So he said, name him Abdul Harith. Al Harith is one of the names of Satan for the pagan Arab, the same as the pagan Muslims. So what what Abdul Harith mean? The slave of Shaitan. So he said, name him Abdul Harith. Abd Al Harith. You know that Muslims they call themselves Abdullah, etc. Right? You know. Uh, this is one of the names of Shaitan Al Harith. So name him the slave of Al Harith. And look what happened. So she named him Abdul Harith, and he lived. Now, based on this story, either we have to say that Shaitan is a is a is a is God who can do miracles, and Allah can do nothing to save to survive the children of Eve, and uh, Shaitan is the only one who can control life and death and the child as you see here doesn't say before here like in, in this story here Shaitan did not kill the children of uh, Eve like in uh, let us say by a knife or a sword no it says that they die which mean he is causing their death which means Shaitan according to Muslims he have a power of saying B is going to be he said to the child, die, the child die. You see, Allah, he cannot do that. Allah, he have to send the Muslims to kill you in order to make you die. He cannot say die and they die. So shaitan is a powerful more than Allah. And he caused the children of Adam, of Eve and Adam to, to die. And now shaitan is asking Eve to call him, to call her son, the slave or the uh, the Abdul of Shaitan and as you see here obviously Adam he have no problem with this because you know how Eve she can call him the name without her husband you know so she named him Abdul Harith and then he lived so the first son of Eve and Adam was the son of the devil and he was a satanic person and based on this story, Adam and Eve, both of them, they are satanic. And they worship the devil. For they accept to call him Abd al-Harith, which means the slave, the one who worship shaitan. Now, those stories obviously expose the stupidity of the one who reported the story, regardless if it is Muhammad or anyone else. Because as you see here, the one who said that is the prophet. Now the Muslim they will say to you this hadith is da'if. The fact this hadith is Hassan. In the website here they list him as da'if. However, da'if still is accepted. Just to let you know, da'if is accepted. You know, just to make it simple, you can go right now to to YouTube and search for. Uh, you know, I, I always ask people to do that. Uh, because this guy is a Muslim and he didn't work for a Christian Prince obviously and he is a, he's a Muslim Sheikh and the Muslim they invite him to their uh, TV stations to teach about Islam so you can go right now and search for this let me show you uh, all right here we go all those videos in the front of your eyes let me show you is about Sheikh Hamza speaking about um uh, Daif Hadith. It passed. So the Muslims, in order to run away from any story, right away they say it is Daif. But Daif, even the Daif one is good. <laughs> I wish I can play the video for you, but you know, the Muslims they will they will claim copyright over something even they don't own. Because this video belonged to the one who was speaking there. However, uh uh, the only way for Muslim to escape the disasters which mentioned by the mouth of Muhammad is to say to you it is da'if but the second they say da'if they just got their prophet busted for this is an accepted hadith and it is not 
what kind of religion believe in such a garbage that Adam and Eve their first son his name was Al Harith and he was the slave of Shaitan and Adam and Eve themselves by accepting to do so that's mean they are accepting Satan as their God think about it and if you are Abdul you better think twice before you believe that Muhammad was not a madman thank you for watching and with more videos to come very soon God bless and see you soon again bye bye